Now we've got the capo on the nut and we're going to look at different keys that we can accompany melodies in without actually using a capo. So first of all, just as we were looking at a while ago, let's look at accompanying a melody in G without using the capo. So our G is up here, G, C, or this C here that I showed earlier. This C is a, like a standard tuning C, but we're not playing the, this string here, just that, um, C and back to G, and similarly on the first fret, our shapes, we have a, our G shape now becomes G sharp, C sharp, E flat, and G sharp, the second fret, we will have an A, a D, an E, and an A. And on the third fret, we're going to have a B flat. We're going to have an E flat, an F, and a B flat. On the fourth fret, as we go up the frets, uh, we're going to have a B, an E, and a F sharp, and a B. Uh, another fret up, we're going to now be on the 5th fret, and so this is where we'll probably start using this. Um, our G shape now, with the capo on the 5th fret, as we looked at earlier, is going to be a C. So we have a C, an F, this is a C, we looked at earlier, this one, without playing this string. An F, uh, a G, and a C. So that's C. C, uh, with the capo on the 6th fret, we're now up to a C sharp, C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and C sharp. And of course, one more onto the 7th, we're actually back to a D, so we probably wouldn't really use this unless you wanted to, to get a, a higher sounding D shape. So this is our D, G, A. D. But really, we'd probably be back here in our open tuning. This is an example. Uh, we I just showed you some of the chords, the G, the C and the D, which of course are only the basic chords for accompanying a uh, melody in G without a capo. Um, so to see an example of actually playing these chords with uh, melody and of course some other chords, go to uh, the section uh, accompanying melodies in double drop D tuning without a capo and uh, example one is accompanying a melody in G. Now let's look at accompanying a tune in E minor without using a capo uh, in double drop D tuning. So instead of putting the capo on the second fret and playing in a D minor shape, let's not do that, let's put the capo back on the note and accompany it in E minor with an E minor shape. So some of the main shapes we'll use for accompanying melodies in E minor would be E minor, D, B minor, sometimes an A or a G, an E minor. Uh, similarly, if we put the capo on the first fret, our E minor becomes F minor, second fret, F sharp minor, third fret, G minor, and up along we'll have a look up onto the 5th fret, which uh, sometimes I use uh, for a melody in A minor, uh, using the capo up here on the 5th fret and an E minor shape. But anyway, let's look at, just with the capo on the nut, accompanying a tune in E minor without a capo in double drop D tuning. And to see an example of this, go to accompanying melodies in double drop D tuning without a capo um, example number two, which is a melody in E minor, the polka. Now let's look at accompanying a melody in A minor without using a capo. So instead of putting the capo up here on the seventh fret and using our D minor shape, which would be A minor, or even putting the capo here on the fifth fret and using an E minor shape, which would also be an A minor, Let's not do that, let's leave the capo on the nut and play 
an A minor shape. So we have an A minor. Some of the main chords we will be using is A minor, G, A E minor, and A minor. So A minor, G, E minor, A minor. And as we looked at before with the capo on the first fret, our A minor will become uh, B flat minor and B minor and so on as we go up the fretboard. So to see an example of accompanying a melody in A minor without using a capo in double drop D tuning, go to accompanying melodies in double drop D tuning without a capo. Um, example number three, which is A minor. Okay, finally, before we move on, let's look at accompanying a melody in B minor uh, in double drop D tuning without using a capo. So instead of putting the capo perhaps on the second fret and using an A minor shape, or up here on the seventh fret and using an E minor shape, or actually bringing the capo all the way up here to the um, the ninth fret. Let's just leave the capo on the knot and predominantly we'll be playing a B minor, B minor shapes, A and F sharp minor and B minor. These shapes work quite well uh, with the capo on the knot. Instead of bringing the capo all the way up uh, onto sort of the ninth, tenth fret um, where the guitar starts to lose intonation and a lot of the natural bass sounds were also lost in guitar. And because many tunes in B minor uh, can often go to the relative major in the B part, perhaps uh, you start in B minor, go to a D, um, it's good to have the capo down here anyway. So to see an example of this, a tune, the, the first uh, part of it is in B minor, the second part of it is in D major, uh, go to accompanying melodies in double drop D tuning without a capo, example number four. <laughs> 